gentlemen, this is December to remember 2019, the official Christmas party in Ghana. DJ Mingle is definitely going to be turning us up a lot because I see people came to party. People came to party, yes? And party, you shall. Don't forget the hashtag is D2R 2019. Now moving on to the man that lives a double life. By day, a doctor. By night, a comedian. Ladies and gentlemen, Obi Amponsa. and he brought the crowd down at D2R. I mean, every single person said, Obi Aponsa had them laughing, laughing, laughing. They, didn't, they couldn't get enough of him at D2R. And he's here with us. We're going to have a conversation about not just his life as a comedian, but who he is, what his journey has been like, exactly what made him venture into this path. Has he failed at something? What can we learn from his journey and what's next for him 2020. If you have any questions for him, let us know with the hashtag Breakfast Daily and the WhatsApp line 0550585832. Ovi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. Let's it's, talk about D2R before yeah, we get to your yeah, life. D2R. How was D2R like D2R, for you? D2R was so far in my comedy career, I've never had a hyped crowd like that before who were like receptive to everything. They were like ready for comedy. They were ready. Like anybody who mounted the stage, they were ready for you. Yeah. You know, like I was backstage and DJ Mingo would do that. You know that scratches the DJ. Mm -hmm. and people would start dancing. dancing. I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> so uh, I really enjoyed that crowd. Like mm -hmm. the when I went on stage, the reception was incredible. Mm. And I really had fun on stage. D2R 
remains uh, my best program for the festive season. Sincerely, that is. Wow. And it's not like I'm trying to. Because uh, you're yeah, because I'm here. No, no, I would, I would speak the truth. Those, the, the, even the VIP, mm -hmm. like VIP, you know, because VIP, VIP, they are like, we pay too much money. Okay, we're not same, gonna. Same, you know, they, they were all. And so I mean, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the tour. I, I, I hope I'm, I'm featured again. Of this course, year, you know? of course. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get to your life. Mm. Who is Obi and Ponsa? Where did you grow up? What this was the, life like as a child? This is the Wendy Shea question. I right? know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by Yeah, what do you mean by who is? <laughs> yeah, but um, my name is, uh, my full name actually, Obi stands for Oberima. Ah. Yeah, so uh, Oberima and Ponsa. Mm -hmm. So that's my name. Uh, I grew up, most of my life, I grew up living in the um, Bronga Hafu region. Okay. Yes. Uh, I went to uh, the boarding school at the age of, I think, six or seven. Six? Yeah. How was that like? It was tough. It was tough. I wouldn't advise anybody to take their kids that young to these boarding houses, you know, because mm. the stuff we see there without parental guidance and, you know. What kinds of things did you see? Oh, so many stuff. You know, you're, you're exposed to a lot of stuff kids are not supposed to see during those times, especially without parental, you know, I guidance know. there. I mean, theft, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff go, goes on in there, you know. But I was, so I was so young, yeah. so I was with, uh, privy to see all this stuff. Uh, but forget about that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was boarding school, so I... Uh, How long I, were you there? From I was six there years from to... primary four okay. to GHS three. Wow. I know, yes. Yeah, so, but how did that shape you? Did it make it you really more independent? Me. It, it got me. It got me open huh. to a lot of stuff. Okay. That's uh, uh, it, it. It actually opened the, the, a different world to me. You know, there okay. were stuff I was open to that uh, colleagues or friends of mine who were my same age were not open to. So it made you grow up faster. I think so, but probably my height didn't grow up faster. Like, <laughs> but yeah, the body school actually, it, it actually opened uh, my mind to uh, witness a couple of things. I actually have a comedy sh session about it that I'll do one day. Okay. Yeah, about my life growing up. Uh, what, what were some of the interesting activities that took place that hmm. still stand out? To yeah, you? back in the day, I, I, was a, I was a debater. Okay. I was so young, so uh, I was more like a betweener. Okay. You know between her. Back yeah. in the day we had between her. Yeah. When you have yeah. a conflict, yeah. there's yeah. always a between yeah. like a mediator. No. Yeah, but this wasn't the between her between her. This was <laughs> like between her between her. Like <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay. Uh you know the between her is the guy who goes to call a girl for a guy. Ah, uh -huh. okay, that's not the between I was yeah, thinking of. Exactly. I that's why I was saying, uh -huh. so me and my between us, the between us, between us, not like the mediator between us. <laughs> so because of my height and young and then... But why was, would they send you to go call girls? Because I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't know anything about those stuff. So I would be like, oh, Oberma, Kofrege, Oberma. So I was like the... The, the, the middle man okay. to, to join these two to do their bad things. And how would you do it? Like, you go to oh, the girl. I, I had my way around it because so, I was. Let's say yeah, I'm the was, girl they've sent you. What would you say when it comes to me? <laughs> uh, sister. <laughs> <laughs> sister. <pa. laughs> yeah, that's basically. Yeah, okay. sister. Uh, uh, senior, senior, bright to say. Your uh, poem prepper. She had. <laughs> oh, the body school and uh, where I went to school, I would, I would applaud that school hmm. because uh, uh, it was in Brekum, okay. a car complex, okay. and uh, my the first the first inscription you see. When you are about to enter the school, would be uh, tree speaking is strictly prohibited wow. on campus, and that was my first like uh, one of my favorite vocabularies. Prohibited. That was how I got to know the word prohibited, prohibited was a word. You know? How old were you? I was I was seven or six, I think. I don't know the age at four, primary four. That's yeah. Been, yeah. So. And and there wasn't. Why much. did that phrase stand out to you? It, stood, it really stood out for me because. The, uh, the moment you enter the school, you'd realize, though it's in, let's say, the brown half region, Brekum, you know, the, the, the students there were not speaking the normal, the chi that you were used to. 
uh, in my previous school at Kentampo. Mm -hmm. So I got there and it was different. And I realized, and then they had the uh, names of vernacular speakers and all that, you mm. know. So if you spoke tree, you'd be beaten, you know. So, and then uh, they had, that time was when libraries were functioning well. Mm -hmm. You know, now Ghana libraries, you don't really, if you want a place to read, you'd, you'd, you'd suffer a bit, yeah. yeah. But those times we had libraries on campus, so uh, you'd, and they made English, I mean, they made studying quite uh, accessible, mm. very accessible. Yeah, that's, that's what I really remember about my scene. In fact, this is bringing back yeah, euphoric well, memories. Yeah, wow. yeah. I know there are some people who also say that that was not a very good thing. The fact They're that you modern. tell people no, mm -hmm. to not speak their native tongue, that yeah, there's yeah, something yeah, yeah. wrong with it. Oh, no, but when, when you grow go, up, when you they, go, they feel a sense of shame articulating themselves in their local language. Yeah, uh, that is true to a point, you understand. But you, you, you do not stay in Ghana alone. I mean, you are not alienated in Ghana. You don't know where you'd find yourself the next time, you understand. You could be in Uganda, you could be in Kenya, you could be in a country where they don't speak Chi. Mm. Then if you are limited to that language, then you'd, found, you'd find yourself wanting. Mm. So uh, it is his instruction on campus. It is how you are being uh, tutored, Trained, yeah. yes, on campus. It's not going to teach you with the tree language. Mm -hmm. When you go home, speak tree with your parents. Mm -hmm. But once you're on campus, tree speaking is prohibited. And it really helped us. Okay. It really, really helped us. Because uh, there were words that we were privy to that our people were yeah, no. not privy to. And then we were, uh, we were giving material that, at a point, uh, I would say a word, and then uh, my friends would be wondering how I got to know that word. But it was because uh, uh, I was uh, initiated into that form of ritual, if I may call it. Did you have like a school father, school uncle, uh, school boyfriend? No, no. Me, I was, I was everybody's friend because I was uh, quite chatty and then uh, young and small. And, uh, did it bother you that you were so small? It did, it Why? did. I didn't get the girl so much. <laughs> <laughs> I was just in between, I sincerely. I was just, I was just. Uh, but you didn't all, all know what was going on. I didn't. So yeah, didn't that was really the how. Girls, right? I didn't. Yeah. Until uh, did they the reward best... you when the girls meet yeah, them, yeah, 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 or yeah. punish you if I the got, girls don't meet them? No, 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 no. I, I mean, I wasn't the, I wasn't the deciding factor for the lady going or not. I was. But why couldn't they go <laughs> talk to the girls themselves? Oh, nah, big boys, big boys, this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they need to. It's, it's like, it's like we have, we have the updated version with the sugar daddy and. You How know, does that work? You know, uh, call, call that girl for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you started young. <laughs> yeah, you know that sugar daddy thing. That's what has updated now. To the driver will come and they say, yeah, my boss wants to talk to you. And say, hey, uh, uh, oh, you can't call him. Uh, then he gives you the card or something. So, yeah, I was getting benefits from uh, more. More of it was Gary. It was uh, Gary and Shito. Gary and Shito. Oh, that was that was the issue. And background. you were happy. Oh yes, it was. It was good. It was good. It, especially when you had Shito and you went to dining hall. Mm -hmm. Your the the flavor for your food. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> memories. <laughs> the, yeah, your flavor changed because mm. you had shit or mm. when you went to the uh, dining hall with needle, mm. you know, uh, uh, spoons of needle, then you. Then yeah, you're like, yeah, your, your porridge is different because, like I said, you know, I did they need that? <laughs> oh man. Were you ever punished by your teachers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was a stubborn person. Really? I was yes, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. What like, made you stop? On? Yeah, because I was I was uh, open to a lot of things I wasn't supposed to see at that time. What were the things you saw that you weren't supposed to see aside getting girls? Porn. I'm In so, the school? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We we used to run to town to go watch that. Uh, we used to have seniors who would. Um, allow you into, you know, they had mosquito nets. Mm -hmm. So they allow you into the net. They had this Playboy magazine. That oh. was when Playboy was Playboy. Wow. Yeah, now Playboy is not Playboy. But <laughs> they had those magazines that you you stay into the, uh, you go into the senior's net, stay in there for a while, maybe five minutes. Uh, it depends on the amount of spoons of Milo you give him. So ah. if, oh yeah, I'm telling you, you how you back in. You have to Yeah, no, you have to pay. But to we, get the magazine. To, yeah, to uh, go through the magazine. Wow. This is new to you. I mean, no. <laughs> you just continue. continue. Yeah, so that, that's basically what happened. Uh, and then after you watch the magazine, then what happens? 
when your time is due, you just go out and uh, you go. Okay, so you saw them doing other crazy things to, like, like touching themselves and stuff. No, 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 they no. They didn't do that. No, it was it was basically for self uh, uh, pleasure. Like, is it? Well, that's a big word for it, aggrandizement or something. It's a word. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it was just you and yourself um, watching those. Okay, so he won't be in the net with you. No, 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 <laughs> okay. no, no. Okay. <laughs> it's just you. It's just, okay, oh, so you rent the you cringing, rent the right? magazine. Yeah, that's what I'm like. Okay, that's cringing. a little no, traumatic. No, 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 it's just you. Okay. It's just just you no, and your magazine. That thing is a in the senior's mark. net. Yeah. Because yeah, in his net, like it's covered. Like okay. it's a, it was a green net. And you just watch it and then you leave. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you find it amusing, man. <laughs> so now yeah. let's fast forward to high school. Yeah. Opoku so, Ari. Uh, yeah, I went to Opoku Ari. Opoku Ari. Yeah. Uh, the best queen in, Ghana. Yeah. Uh, in, in Africa. Did you target it that this is the school I want to yeah, and, and I chose... before you continue, <laughs> if you guys have any questions for Obi <laughs> Abonsa. Don't forget to let us know with the hashtag Breakfast Daily and the WhatsApp line 0550585832. Why Opokuare? Opokuare. Opokuare is the best school in Africa. I mean, hey, you can't. Not just Kumasi. Oh, you're, you're, you're extending it to I know, the whole I know continent. some people are like, French. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm, I've said it. It's the school. Yeah, it's the. What makes it the best? It's school? the best. Uh, okay. To be sincere, <laughs> Don't say that when I was in Brown, <laughs> the only school I heard of. Oh, so cool, yes, right? to be sincere, okay. like the the breakthrough school. My mommy wanted me to go. My dad, so oh, in my head, me, I was have to go to Poku Poku So it was when when we were choosing our time, you could choose three schools, or and you could choose the same school mm -hmm. when you trusted yourself. Mm -hmm. So I went Did to you trust yourself? Oh, of course, I was smart too. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was quite a smart person. Wow. So I, it was 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 was. And they came and then what I would have happened if you didn't get in? Did you ever think of that? Yeah, I no, I didn't. Was and I... I didn't. Growing up, Charlie, I had that. You were convinced yeah, that I had you that get mad in. confidence that, I mean, I, I would get in. It was just that I disappointed my French teacher. Why? Yeah, you know, she trusted me. Like, she was like, uh, she asked a question once in class that like, who is going to get one for me? Like, uh, and uh, everybody raised their hand. He said, oh, Obama, don't raise your hand. I know you. I know you. I got four. Oh. I tell you. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, I don't know, French. I don't know, sincerely know. You know. The genders confuse me. The le, 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 la, the, the conjugate, you know. <laughs> conjugate le verb être, can you try it? No. Oh, you can't conjugate le verb être. How about et toi? Et toi. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so senior high, I actually chose science. But I was given uh, general arts. Why science? I, 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 science, to be honest, mm -hmm. my my mommy and daddy wanted me to be a doctor. Aww. Yeah, so you know how Ghanaian parents carve your future for you? Yes. Like once they give birth to you, <laughs> this and even is when they are not showing you that. Could you doctor, you know, <laughs> lawyer, show me, yeah, lawyer, you not, know. not comedian, you know, definitely you know, not. I never heard comedian in, in those. Uh, and at times I change. Now I hear footballer, you know, like, yeah. rapper. <laughs> rapper, they, they have to add uh, uh, you, <laughs> full time rapper, or not underground. Underground, you suffer. <laughs> the demos they have fun. Uh, <laughs> For my brother. It's not easy. You even dating an underground guy and you, you wishing he would blow. <laughs> like, it's not easy. You have to take matters in your hands. Like CJ, How do you take it? CJ you, you, you heard yeah, the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was here this yeah. week. They were pushing him away and say, hey. <laughs> like the, the, the lady who tied Jesus' hems. Yeah, you know, the hem of Jesus' mm -hmm. clothes. Basically, he did that too. If I yeah. see Kevin Hart, me too. That's yeah. what you do. I say, yo, Kev, <laughs> I got a joke for you, bro. <laughs> Just two minutes, bro. Two minutes and I'm done. Two minutes. All right, here you go. All right, that was this man, right? <laughs> I'm fat, yeah. <laughs> 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 I was like, I, I but you mean, actually do that. If you heard Kevin, oh, I was coming to Kev, Ghana. Oh, if I, if I see Kev, I'll throw all my gentility away. Uh, oh, what yeah. would you do? Kev, Kev has a show called Next Level mm -hmm. where he features comics who who nobody virtually knows about mm -hmm. but people know kevin mm -hmm. so uh, they watch it because it's kevin's production mm -hmm. you understand and then while watching it they get to know somebody yeah, and say oh oh this guy is funny then they start following i would love to i'd love to be on one of those shows so and i mean I didn't, I didn't, uh, yeah so it's, speaking it's a it process. into being yes Speak it in the air. You know, speaking it into being <laughs> there's there was this guy who went to church like 31st 
-hmm. Then he said, speak into your life. <laughs> and it will happen. And then he typed on Facebook, Inshallah, this house that I'm living in, I'll buy it. Ooh. Inshallah. Okay. And then his landlord saw it. <laughs> <laughs> and he replied, Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> Park and leave my house. <laughs> I never need the opposite for inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back to Pokuari. Yeah, so what Pokuari. was your first year like? Pokuari senior high, I was, I was a quiet person. Really? Yeah. I told you I was giving general arts. Yeah. But, uh, How did your parents feel about that? They were devastated. I was devastated. I, okay, I was like. Because you also thought you were going to be a I doctor. was going to get science, yes. Okay. So. Uh, but I was like, general arts is all about reading, and I read a lot. I yeah. read a lot, so it's I don't okay. mind. I don't mind doing uh, general arts. Then I went for my medicals. Okay. Then I entered the doctor's office, huh. and then the air condition blew me away. Like seriously, that was my first time being in a, a an office where there was air conditioning. I felt like it was spider webs on my face. <laughs> seriously, so I was like, no, no, ma, I will do the science. I will Aww. do the science. You know? so they had to work their way around it. You know, they knew somebody in God. So yeah, yeah I'm telling the truth, man. <laughs> yeah, they worked. The, uh, then I was admitted to um, science one. How did you do that? Oh, there's a way. There's How? always a way. Which you mean, way? You mean like... Because I think it's set in stone. If they give you general arts, that's oh, what you need to then. do. Yeah. Ah, by you. you know I don't know. <laughs> you know, we got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we had, people, we had somebody there. Like, she was a teacher there. So, uh, if she's watching, she knows. She knows herself. So, <laughs> and then it happened that I, be, I became a science student. Okay. So, when I was in class, I wasn't really confident. Because Why? I thought I didn't... Deserve to be yeah, there. Yeah, I didn't deserve to be there. Yeah. So I felt a little short. Hmm. Yeah, like Aside being literally short. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Just, just slide that in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, aside that, yes. So I felt for my first year, I felt inadequate. Like, oh. yeah, inadequate. I, I thought I wasn't in that position to be in that class. So even for stuff that I could easily understand. And for some weird reason, I had a friend like that too, who always kept saying, hmm, I hey, asked someone. <laughs> why would you, why <laughs> would you was make right somebody like that a friend? I, I remember that guy. He was right behind me, especially doing elective math. I said, hmm, hey, yeah, I I'm like, dude, <laughs> you're making it very difficult Killing for your me. Yeah. That little thing you have I don't have, have the vim already. And, this, you're also just and taking he was it. coming from some big school, some Montessori school. I said, now what was it? Yeah, me free bro, Kuma. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> when I went to Kumas, that was my first time seeing a double road. Wow. I'm not kidding. Wow. I, I'm not kidding. I've, I've come from Val. <laughs> you know, started from the bus. Uh, yes. <laughs> now we are detour. I know, right? <laughs> so the, the road, you know, the one way, mm -hmm. I was used to that. So I look left, right, left again. But this time I was crossing the road and they were just cars coming here. And I, was, I kept looking here and people, oh, you should see the stuff I did first year in senior high. It was, it was like a, I was a villager. That, what were some of the things you discovered that you were like, wow, you know, I've made it to the big city? I had watched movies. So I was going and then I packed. Mm -hmm. I packed this, uh, I said, nighty or gone, that morning gone you guys wear, mm -hmm. like, like when you wake up. Yeah, the pajamas. Not, the pajamas is for sleep. Yes. One, one, one of those ones. One that you throw on when you uh -huh, wake up. When you okay. wake up. Mm -hmm. I thought that was for sleep. You're kidding. I'm, I'm not kidding. And so, <laughs> imagine me in the midst of all this, like that made it. It. and I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm it's time to sleep, to sleep bro. <laughs> <laughs> did they, did they tell sleep, you? I, I, oh, they kept laughing. I mean, they, they couldn't spot and their you thought you had just made oh, it. I was so killing like... it. Ah. <laughs> then I was sleep. I was like, yeah. Don't tell me I was, I was the worst person in the room. Yeah. But, uh, so, senior high, senior high, I was calm. I was quiet. I was just doing my time, hmm. and then I would leave. Yeah, wow. so probably maybe I cracked jokes a few times, and then we had uh, Adventist Student Fellowship. Okay. I'm Adventist, so okay. I was more like in in the church more. And when you're a church person more at uh, senior high, they don't want to see you on certain stages, you know. Ah. Oh yeah, they don't see you dance, you know. Hmm. They see. They don't, but did they you like to dance? Oh, I was, yeah, I used to dance, but. Church calmed me, you know, okay. because it barred you from going on stage, because it gave that depiction that you are not yeah, that, yeah, yeah, when you're holy, sir, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I, uh, I wasn't much on the entertainment scene. There were dancers, there were 
rappers, there were singers. Did you admire those people? I did. I did. I did. They, did you were, slightly those, those envy the them times. a little bit? Yeah, but I mean, when I met them, I would battle them, but like... <laughs> not, <laughs> not yeah, stage. Those were the times that... Uh, As in two. I like the way... No, no, no. We, our time was, I like the way you do it right there, right there. <laughs> you know that... Was it Chingy? Chingy, that's Chingy. Chingy, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> so right, you're doing that, a Chingy that, dance. Like, <laughs> ah, yeah, back in the day. <laughs> And then you had tamale. It's a tamale. Did you don't, have like your jaru? Yeah, we had the the baggy oh, jeans. You tell you 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 you, you, you made it. Shout out to Kabi. Then these shoes, <laughs> these big shoes. It was those were good times. But wow. I was I was calm out there. Did yeah. you still want to be a doctor through the the years that you were in? in oh yes, in, in, yes. In high school, you, you were still thinking I'm yes. going to be a doctor. My favorite subject was actually physics. Wow. I really loved physics. Mm. Yes. Uh, like take any subject away from but physics it was it was good. What did you like about it? I think physics physics was more like I I, I think I related more with it. Mm-hmm. I could understand the the dynamics that the the teacher was saying and then I could apply them. So I was I was loving physics. Wow. Chemistry I couldn't balance the equations. They were You're kidding. They, I could, but chemistry is the bomb. Oh, that's your, that's your. your, Oh no, I'm more physics. The The periodic periodic table table and all that combining things. No, I I hated the balancing equation thing. Really? I don't know. uh, There was this topic where you know you send some any somewhere, then you bring CO three somewhere. Oh, (laughs) that was that was quite. Uh, tough for me, but we we sailed through senior. Yeah, we did. From Kumasi, you went to Cape Coast. Yeah. Why Cape Coast? Why not Accra? Or stay in KNUSD? Oh, UCC accepted me. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the school of optometry in UCC accepted Was it that your top, that, that was the school you wanted to go to, or you had a different oh, school? Oh, no, but I mean, you know, if we are choosing for university, yeah, mm-hmm. we, we, we choose a lot of schools. Mm-hmm. Like, you can choose uh, UCC, and sometimes you overestimate yourself, you over... You overprice yourself and say, okay, let me go for maybe uh, medicine. Let's see <laughs> if it will work, you know. Uh, tech didn't mind me. Aww. Oh, no, they didn't. Legon, Legon, you have to go and play Champions League. You know Champions League? No, what's Champions Where you do, uh, I think you do biological science for a while. Mm-hmm. And then uh, afterwards, you guys are made to sit for an exam. Yeah, an exam. And then they'll pick the And top. then they pick the top people to do yeah, but you should have done to that. Do medicine. No, I... I, I once they offered me optometry at UCC, I was I'm like, fine. glory, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can deal with this. <laughs> yeah, so optometry in UCC, that was for six years. I was did you admit- like it? I did. I really did enjoy myself. Like, I did enjoy the study uh, on campus. Did you see yourself practicing it as a career? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because what, what, what's, what's uh, the thing about, uh, how do I put this? Uh, Professions, mm-hmm. you know, ones that are practicable. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, practicable, practical. Right? Mm-hmm. Hey, practicable. It's okay. It's the it second day of the year. You can yeah, use whatever yeah. word you want. And you are OB and Ponsa. Exactly. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> take it for whatever it is. You know. I like, I love the practicals because when we went, there were seniors who were there mm-hmm. and they had that started attending to patients. Nice. So I was like, oh, this is what I'm going so to do. So you can do. apply what you're learning. Exactly. Something. It's not like I'm learning something abstract. Wow. And in fact, when even in level 100, we had a feel, hmm. you know, uh, we had a feel of how we are going to enjoy this stuff wow. because uh, you wouldn't queue uh, because you are an optometrist student. Oh, let the students come, you know. <laughs> Feeling and, like yeah, an MVP. Uh, yeah, like a big guy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you, you, you could rush a bit, like. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean rush a bit? <laughs> so you could tell the ladies, like, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm an optometrist. So at this point, you were not shy of oh, women no, no, anymore. Oh, no, 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 yeah. You had, I, like, yeah. maybe 10, 20 girlfriends in high school. So. No, no, senior high, I me, mean, I was a senior. I, I broke my virginity in uh, you. I'm, I'm allowed to say that. Yeah, say, <laughs> yeah, yeah. in Uni? Uh, yeah, uni. So you were a virgin throughout? I tell you, you see? What was your first, what, what, what made you decide to, to lose it? I don't know. She made me Because you were religious. She made you were very crif- crif- Yeah. Crif- so, so what happened? <laughs> it was when we were about to vote for uh, Atta Mills. Okay. The late Atta Mills. <laughs> yes. So I went to the polling station. There was this lady in a cup. She was really beautiful. Wow. I'm not going to mention her name. No, of course. Yeah, not. Marianne. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Marianne, wherever Marianne. you are. <laughs> oh, she, yeah, she was really beautiful. Very beautiful. It's like, wow, Marianne. Yeah. But I couldn't take her number. Why? I was, I, I was shy with me, eh? 
Ah. I just became like like uh, so I was poking resting you. So I just said hi. I like your cap. Your cap. <laughs> yeah, those polling station. <laughs> did you really like the cap? Nice. No, <laughs> I just had to say something. You know? And then what did she yeah, say? Yeah, so I said, oh, thank you. You know the lady, thank you thing. Like thank you. Now move. You know, yeah, that. So you moved. Yeah, I moved. I moved and went to vote. Hmm. So we me and a friend were playing draft, you know, mm -hmm. dummy. Yeah, dummy. Yeah, that's one game I'm Are you really, really good I, at it? I, I, okay, next time we'll, we'll do a competition. You are good I'm at very it? good at dummy. And for spa. real, for real. Yes, for real, for real. And and cats. Yes, spa. All right. We'll we, have, we have we have we have we have, we have, a, a, yeah, we have a match then. <laughs> yeah, so I was playing with a friend and then apparently the friend was a uh, her church member. Okay. So uh he caught her. Mm -hmm. That hey, Maria, you're too damn you. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> that's my crash. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, Oh, me cry my phone. Now you're a phone number, the mommy. And then he, uh, the girl took his phone mm -hmm. and then, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, gave gave him her number. Mm -hmm. I was like, Oh, any of so far, me. <laughs> you know, I was just that's pushing, so funny, though. pushing my luck, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so far, me. And then she typed it and then we started from there. Uh, then one day my parents traveled and. Uh, Eh? Yeah, so that's... You took her to your parents' house? And I mean, where do I have? <laughs> <laughs> that was after first year. Okay. No, that, that was after first semester. Okay. Yes. So, was she your age or she was older? Oh, yeah. No, I was, I was older. I think Marian was two years younger. No, no, we, we did the same age. Was it her I, first time too? She said it was her first time. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't trust. Why? <laughs> I don't trust. The experience she gave me. <laughs> See, my first hug was from her. Wow. My first hug was from her. Immediately we finished hugging. I was so overwhelmed with emotions. I said, I love you. <laughs> she said, hey, come here. <laughs> before she, that was before she even kissed me. So, wow. I, yeah, it was, so your first hug, your first kiss. kiss that was, Did you think uh, you guys were going to get married? I really thought so. I, sh wow. I, I introduced her to my parents, my mom, wow. my dad. Yeah. How long were you guys together? Oh, we, we, we were actually together. I think level 100, level 200, level 300. And then... Church members said that uh, they went and told my mom that uh, yeah, can on a car, C B B C C, you know that thing, right? Yeah, yeah. And then my mom told me, and me too, stupidly, I went to tell her that eh, no more say that. And then, uh, then we had that because she was Catholic. I was Adventist. Hey, I'm saying all this. <laughs> <laughs> she was Catholic. I was Adventist. You know, Adventist Catholic marriage thing. It doesn't but really work. But did you love her? Sorry, did I did. Her? Oh, Mary was my first love. Like I still have her. She has a special place in my heart. Aww. Yes, a tribute to Maria. <laughs> How was the breakup like? Uh, we, I think it was, it was. Uh, what, what, how do you say? Amicable. Yeah, it was amicable. It was yeah, uh, amicable is good. We <laughs> settled with amicable. <laughs> it was amicable. We all said it's it's not going to okay. work out. So. Now she's happily in a relationship. Aww. All and my, you? all my, uh, all my exes are and happy. You? All my exes are <laughs> happy. Your girlfriend is watching. No, you have yeah, to claim her. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, this is your one chance to claim yeah, her. Yeah. Where's my camera? Which one do I look into? This is your camera. <laughs> Hi, I'm in a relationship, <laughs> and I'm enjoying it. Peace you out. You look like there's a gun to your head. <laughs> That was not convincing <laughs> at all. Yeah, that, that, oh, it wasn't. No, if she's home right now, she'll she'll be crying. I'm no, sure maybe, she's sent you like ten messages right now. Yeah. Like, how can you not? How can you not accept accept yeah, me in, 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 after in, all these years of you not blowing up and I being know, underground, I know. making no money, <laughs> me staying with you? you, you get me. one chance to claim me, and, and you, you you do this. You do this, really. Babe, okay, take babe. two. Do it again. Hey, babe. You know how we do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> How? What, what make her talk? Hey, she's watching you. <laughs> what, what you want? Like, what is the question that I'm, I'm telling? What's... You said your, all your exes are happily in a relationship. Yes, yeah, and I'm, I am happily in a relationship too. See, as a guy, if you're happy or not, <laughs> dude, accept it. <laughs> I am happy, okay? What do you mean if you're happy or not? Oh, please. That means you, you are you not happy. You ladies know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> let's move on from the girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At what point did you realize that comedy was it for you? At what point? Uh, that would be level level 600. Hmm. Yeah. Usually, we go for trips, uh, okay. Adventist Student Fellowships. Okay. Yeah, so 
We normally go for Izlezu, you know, those long yes. trips. Yeah. So in the bus, it's a long journey. People get tired. So I just bored. stand. Yeah, I'm bored. So I stand inside and start cracking jokes. Hmm. Usually it was jokes I'd learned from uh, videos I'd watched, basket okay. mouth, you know. So I try and then add a few of mine and then people will laugh. Mm -hmm. And it was like a ritual. So okay. Obi had to be in the bus. Wow. If people... So you were in high demand. Yeah, yeah. Amongst my people. And then I was emceeing programs. And I realized it wasn't me who even realized it. There was one day a lady uh, who had always mentioned her name, Margaret Boima. Oh. Yeah, she said, no, we need, to, we need to make something out of this. You can't wow. just be telling jokes in a car. Uh, just like are you that. Yeah, I had the whole thing through. <laughs> so, yeah, she said that, and then uh, uh, friends joined Nemo, Bote, uh, Bismarck, uh, Rich, Richard, uh, Richmond, Opokumensa. They all said, no, we would actually help wow. you have your first show. Wow. Yes. How old were you then? Ah, uh, level 600. How old? If I'm 30 now and then I was... 24, 22? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, six, 22. Okay, I completed school 24. So 22? Yeah, yeah. No, I was oh, 24. 24. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they said, yeah, we should... So we had our first show. I had a, a couple of friends join Were you me. nervous? I was. The show's tit uh, title was Unsre Jai. Unsre Jai. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was purely a cheat. <laughs> There's no pressure Yeah, then. just purely a cheat. And it was my first time doing stand-up too. How did you prep for it? I did. Uh, how did I prep? I think we rehearsed. We rehearsed a lot with the team. Okay. Yeah, you come. And you know, because we were, we were Adventists, we, they always wanted me to come out with, like, after the joke, there should be some sense that you the person yeah, it. learns from the joke. So sometimes I can crack the joke, like, a banner woman. Where's the seed? <laughs> yeah, so they would ask that. So they, the rehearsal actually shaped the performance. Ah. And it was good. It was a sold out show. Wow. We even had DVD, uh, DVDs back in the day. We had a DVD mm -hmm. video around and people were enjoying it wow. and all that. I looked so slim. And, hey, tell yeah. me, life has been good. I know. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, life has been good. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our first show. It was, it was a massive one. Hmm. Then we staged another one still there on campus. But this time we took it to the... Uh, School of Medical Science Auditorium, okay. and it was sold out too. Wow! So we had like three shows. My my third one I had there was uh, uh, Laugh at First Sight. Laugh yes. at First Sight. Yeah, you know it sounds good, right? Yeah, it Laugh does. at I First like Sight. It. Yeah, like yeah. Actually, thought of it a lot before we came out with this. So <laughs> you would like it, trust <laughs> me. <laughs> Most of my shows, I really think of them. Oh. Hey, yeah. What's like, the process? Like, like there's this one that recently. It's, it gets the audience, this one, like WYD. You understand WYD? Oh, you don't, the shorthand thing. What are you are doing? With, yeah, what you doing, what right? What you doing? Yeah, but. You're returning people like Exactly, what you doing? What you doing? You know? And in Chi, it means the same thing. Like, what you doing? Ah, See? I didn't know that. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> My jokes are like that way. You know? <laughs> so, for, for example, mm -hmm. the D2R one, mm -hmm. how did you come up with the yeah, songs the you selected? Process. Yeah, what was that process like? Yeah, so what, what I am more of is that I am an observational comic. So I, I do comedy, and uh, I just don't do it. I look at stuff that people look at and then uh, wouldn't really pay particular attention to. I look at those stuff and then try to make something funny out of that. Mm. Yes, like trotro, like music, because the music, music, we, we all listen to that kind of music, yeah. but maybe you have not paid attention to how the lady keeps repeating herself, yeah. right? Like, and then she kept repeating it. It was good for the music, but at a point I was like, can't she just say it once and then and then let us move on? Meanwhile, she was just coming to say more, more, more. I'm I know. You know, so I realized, okay, so if this lady is doing it, how about I assess other musicians and see wow. uh, if I would find a similar trend. Hmm. And then I found it in the other song there. So how mupa me see din be na o be boy e question one jesus yeah Jeez. then i said oh, okay then let's 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 go into more gospel songs mm -hmm. then that other song that makes you um, confess since you have never done you know which, which one say mekaya 
Bonnie be a nummy womb, me a crow for the money cooking the lap. You're probably a beer. You need you, cooking the lap. You know, yeah, so I, I started uh, analyzing them. There are lots, there are lots that uh, actually I'm looking at. Hmm. This this was just gospel. Yeah. Even for the hip life, you know. Now hip life, they just it's not only the hip life. The hip life, they dance. So they just say something, and it becomes something. Yeah. No bye bye. What is bye bye? Bye bye. Be that day. Hey, what what what? Which one is the Kwame Eugene one? He says it sometimes. They call me Eugene. If ya if ya is always spelling her name E F Y A. Because the name is simple. If your name was Bungulu, Bungulu, <laughs> before you spell it, one minute is gone from your song. So I, I look at this stuff, like some boys, Skip the Bambai. Like, what are you what saying? Skip the Bambai. <laughs> you know, like, so so I, there's a whole science. Exactly, story. exactly. How did your background actually shape think, the way yeah. you compose some now of that, these Now skits? that you mention it, I think science really, because science is more about observation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. Uh, being uh, being exceptionally observational, yeah. yes, so that you don't miss stuff, mm -hmm. yes, and and that is what I employ when I am um, doing my comedy. I when I pick a topic, mm -hmm. I make sure I exhaust it, mm -hmm. so that no other comedian can <laughs> nitpick. It. You know, like try say, oh, okay, let me see if he left this point. No, 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 no. Me when when like if I should do technology now, mm -hmm. if I should do technology jokes to you now, uh, afterwards when I'm done. I'm pretty sure I'm like, okay, this is it. This, this nothing yeah, I have, I have like five minutes of technology, you know. So now, no, no, if somebody tries it, it will sound like uh, the person is feeding off my vibe. Yeah. yeah. So basically, that is yeah, how I go about it. When I pick a topic, I sit down and then I analyze it. Wow. And then I go into it. So you go it. through the whole scientific process. Yeah, I go through everything. The, the Hypothesis, yes, experiments. And exactly. And then <laughs> the final stage is to bring it to the audience and, and test them. it on them. Yeah. Wow. So often we, we, we test this at the local clubs, like yeah. comedy clubs, you know. We have Comedy Bar, we have Comedy Express, Laugh Kitchen, Laugh Line. So we try this with our people there the audience and when they love it then we know it's, it's good perfect for the to our stage. Where did you try the Mahama one with? The Maha you know the Mahama one I tried it in my special. <laughs> I had a comedy special this really? year. Really? And yeah. you tried it there? Yeah, yeah I did nothing. one uh, one hour and twenty minutes of comedy. <coughs> Just me standing there mm -hmm, doing sorry. comedy. Oh it's okay. And uh, under the weather. I know right <laughs> yeah and it you are blaming the weather for this but it's fine. <laughs> 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 Who else am I supposed yeah, to blame? The weather can't complain. Like the weather is probably the like really, really. <laughs> <laughs> Why me? Why did I do? <laughs> yeah. So I did, and in that hour special, uh -huh. I mentioned it. Okay. I went to Takwa to do a show. Uh -huh. In that show, I mentioned huh. it. So it's, and the point is that, see, uh, Will Rogers said it, and he said, people are getting, like the world is changing. Mm -hmm. Now, people take comedians more seriously than they, than they take politicians. Yeah. You understand? And, and I, I really understood it when this whole thing happened. Yeah, thing Should we started. take a look at it? No. The video we're talking about. Uh, you are going to play That was it? a rhetorical question. No, by we the way. okay, so, so, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll take a look at the Mahama joke at D2R oh, wow. and then continue the interview. <laughs> a name like, a name like Mahama. In Hausa, in Hausa, in Hausa, that means corruption. But I, 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 hey, I am playing, you know, it is a joke. If this is on TV, I am joking. Hello, I know Ghana people. They are my enemies in the video, so they cheap. What's that here now, yes, man? This is all the cheap, sir. They will be able to be cheap, you know. I'm kidding, you know, it's a joke. Don't end my career. So that's the ah. Mahama joke. <laughs> it's so tough watching it now. But eh? you did issue a disclaimer it was. right after, because, like immediately because after. Because I knew, because I knew that would that could happen. Hmm. You know, everywhere I perform this joke. In fact, the joke is not really about the Mahama thing. It's about the disclaimer. That is what really gets me laughs. Mm -hmm. The comedians 
purpose is to make you laugh. Yeah. That does not say that when he says this, that is what he stands for. Yeah. You understand? When Sarkozy sings, uh, you think Sarkozy, if Tracy does that to him, he would be happy? No. You understand? It's, it's a song for the audience consumption. Mm -hmm. So that joke was for that, like, in that context. But, but Sarkozy also got burnt for, for saying something about women in... Uh, yeah, Krobo. So, yeah. The same, I mean, so the same art, thing. Art comes with <laughs> hazards, yeah. you know? And he did mention that his wife is from there, so he didn't mean anything exactly. about it. That is why I quickly issued that. But, you know, there were people watching, like, maybe uh, NDC faithfuls were like, Charlie, this guy they kill. This, this boy is really funny. Until I dropped that. Ah. You understand? And then they... Yes. Ideally, maybe if I had nullified it with uh, uh, another an one from the other side, yeah. then it would have been okay. He's not. But some even had the idea that I was being paid huh. to me. If I drive a Lexus, like my leg. <laughs> you you, you, <laughs> you I, pull up like, yeah, cool, Mama, Alex. look yeah. at how we made it. <laughs> this is my leg. Like, I don't have a car. But, but how important is this for us to learn to laugh at ourselves it's, as a society? I think if we do not... If we do not, then, then we'll be stressed. We'll be too uptight in this mm. system. We'll be too uptight because there, there are a lot of uh, stresses around. Mm -hmm. And uh, comedy is supposed to uh, make fun of stuff and then make you uh, a bit enlightened, a bit, you know, free, like you're, to calm you down. That was basically, so when I say a joke and then it offends you, know that I do not know you. Yeah. You understand? So it is not really targeted at you. And art cannot be censored. Yeah. Now, if you say, uh, I should tell a joke, uh, uh, if I should tell political joke, I should... Now, It'll be forced. Yeah, now my art will be like, okay, I'm, I'm doing it in a scripted manner. Yeah. And yeah, it shouldn't be like that. Hmm. So I think Ghanaians are, are getting it because when this started, there were a lot of people who, were, who understood that, oh, but this was a joke. You know, this, did you imagine the backlash? No, I didn't. Did, Sincerely, did, if I did, if I did, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that joke. So it was what, just what a lie. Your life it. was even at risk. Yeah, there were people threatening me, and I broke down at a point. Wow. Sincerely, I broke down at a point. I was. Was it like the highest point and the lowest point of your career? I would say this. This was one of the lowest points in my career. Sincerely, yeah. after the back, the the, back the show was. So the show superb. was the highest. Yeah, it was like I was like. <laughs> On was, cloud on, nine, yeah, yeah, cloud nine. Then and with my people, and I started seeing the uh, uh, mentions on Aww. Twitter. I mean, I'm not a Twitter person. That much. I'm Facebook. Person. So your energy was like this before like, you went yeah, on social and media. And then started kind of. Say, ah. Then I went to sleep and woke up. Oh, it had blown up. Wow. Like now, my number, my phone number was all over Facebook. They wow. were sharing my phone number on Facebook. Like wow. anybody who knows this. Self-acclaimed, you know, when Ghanaians want to get it, they just throw in anything. Self-acclaimed comedian, blah, 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 blah. Let him, uh, text him a message. So when they call you and they don't get you, they text you the insult hmm. and threats. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was crazy. And then I had a show, 1026 Loves, yes. on 26. Huh. So you, you, you can imagine you what... Were nervous? I was, I, was, I was messed up. My, wow. mind, my mind was... I, I didn't have the mental uh, strength to yes to go on that stage sincerely. Wow! And but you still I still did. did so well. I did I did because I was paid. <laughs> I had to go and do the job. The comedian <laughs> has to make people yeah, laugh yeah, even yeah. when he's not, not in the mood. Wow. You understand? So I had to go do that job because I was I was being paid for it. But and you I, did well. I did. You delivered. I killed it. You I did. did. I you deserve it. some accolades. <laughs> <laughs> but the point I'm making is that we need. I don't know if we do have them. The, the people who psych you mm. before a show. Mm. I don't know if we have it in our entertainment industry, but because I really needed one that time. Wow. I really needed somebody to sit me down and, and say, yeah. Obi, this will be fine. You know, maybe a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a shrink, somebody whose uh, main job is to psych artists up. Yeah. I think the foreigners, they have it, Westerners, but in Ghana, because this. It was just friends calling you, Charlie. You got this, and you got no. But you know that professional person who yeah. sits you down and you let out all your secrets without even him. How are you doing? Are you are you trying to do that now? No, right? no I'm just. Asking. <laughs> How are you? Oh, now I'm fine. You're fine. I'm fine. In fact, I've recovered, and as a comedian, you need to try laugh at your pain. You so know? how how did you how did 
political refugee. Yeah, that is about. that is how political. Which is refugee. his next event. Yeah, by which way. is my next event. <laughs> Tell us about political yeah, refugees. And I love the flyer. Let's take a look at the flyer. <laughs> there it is. Political <laughs> refugee. People actually have a problem with my cuffs. They say it's from a BDSM. Like, hey! Like, okay, oh, we're not going to mention any that. That's with Modern TV. <laughs> yeah, so, so, rates are NDC, mm -hmm. 35 CDs, NPP. In fact, now I've increased it. So, 35 it's NDC 45. Neutral. Oh, it's 45 now. Yeah, 45. Because we're in the new year. Yeah, and neutral okay. is 40. Okay, awesome. And 45 NDC, 45 MPP, mm -hmm. neutral 40, mm -hmm. PPP. Free. Absolutely yeah, free. Yeah, because so we're all PPP. Yeah, then. Pa no, no. PPP with a car. <laughs> PPP <laughs> with a party car. PPP. What inspired this? I think this is this, this yeah, is just genius yeah, level stuff. Yeah, I had to. One, I had to ride on the hype. I mean, if they had, if the people have bashed me, bashed me, I needed to do a show to take some money for that bashment. <laughs> <laughs> See, I mean, you can't bash me. For yeah, free. yeah, we can't be bashed for free, you know. <laughs> and then secondly, I had a lot of stuff to talk about when I it comes that. to this yeah. stuff. And I think we, we now I know how to trade. Yeah, you know, I I know how to trade. And I know where where to say some stuff and where not to say some stuff. But I'm going to address the political system in Ghana. Wow. Yes. On all fronts. On all fronts. NDC, so that MPP, nobody, PPP, PPP, people don't PPP. See I'm, biased. I'm just doing... And I'll, I'll have a couple of friends on it too. Okay. Yeah, PJ, Jerry, you know, Romanus, Lexi. Nice. They'll pass through and then they'll, they'll also... So it's more like a, a, we are singing our peace peaceful song right now you know mm -hmm. there are a lot of people composing peaceful, peaceful elections songs, songs. exactly like somebody did studio right now <laughs> yeah so <laughs> that is my my 18th january snap cinemas where do we get tickets there's a number yes there's on a the number on the flyer okay, yeah so you call can that get it on the flyer and then you're good. very soon we have the momo um style mm -hmm. and everything the one that else. you use for yes. d2r oh you're yeah. gonna do that okay so yeah. the number is right there zero five five three four five six five seven four let us all go out and laugh our way That's into fine. the new year. The number is on your screen <laughs> right there. So take, take a look at that number that is on your screen and reserve your tickets. tickets. It is Political Refugee. Refugee. And we will all be there come 18th of January. So we have 16 days to go. I know, yeah. And we're just going to laugh And the place way. is just 300 people. So oh, grab wow. your tickets so you early. Tickets yeah, really, really yeah, early. Yeah. And I'm quite popular now, so... <laughs> oh, you are very popular now. I am. Like you're hot cake. I am hot like, cake. When you, when you That's why I'm not relenting. This year, eh, you you Ghana blue. will see my exploits. We eh. are going to Africa. I'm, I want to conquer Africa. Then, then gradually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. when you see Kevin Hart, he will know who you are. Yeah, Kevin. You won't have to step up. He'll be like, he'll be like oh, B! <laughs> I will die. <laughs> God, I, God, I'm ready die, to like go. God, you, you did it. <laughs> we'll have to talk about your following in Nigeria mm, a bit, mm, okay? Mm. So I'm enjoying this conversation so much. I want to extend it for 10 more minutes. Is that okay? I'm fine. Perfect. I'm fine. So we're going to talk about Nigeria. What's next for him come 2020? But go for a quick break. This is still Breakfast Daily on City TV. I've received your messages. I'll be asking him soon as well. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Thank you so much for joining us and staying with us on the second day of January. We still have O.B. Amponsa with us. We've been getting to know him a bit better, you know, so we've gone through his childhood, how he spent time in boarding school, and then Opokuare. Then he ended up as a science student and somehow, you know, became this successful comedian that we're all proud of. Uh, we, we, we've told you that his event, yeah. Political refugee is in exactly 16 days. But let's talk about some of the big events that you've you've participated in. I heard you were in Nigeria. Yeah, last year. <clears throat> uh, Doesn't the... it feel good to say last year? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last year. You know, I, I traveled outside the country, country. <laughs> to perform at a show in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> is this your look at how we made yeah, it voice like you know, yeah yeah <laughs> bugger voice yeah, you know, we don't put yeah, too much bass in it, it just we make it flat it, that's what you know, when you know yeah. that you... and it was one of the biggest it's like the biggest comedy festival in west africa wow yeah organized by basket mouth nice so he put me on i was i was over the moon huh. yes i was so excited to be on that platform with like legends i had looked up to tony uh no not 
there, there were like foreign comedians, hmm. you know. Basket like, Mouth himself. Basket Mouth himself. They were, I've forgotten these foreign acts. Tony Roberts, oh. that guy was like a big man. He could wow. name wow. was on it, the Golden Bazaar guy. So it was, it was, it was like a lot of pressure. Yeah, you know, it was a mixture. And of, here you are, little, little I, old me, you. me, and uh, m myself and Jacinta went. Wow. Yes, uh, and the audience was like a lot of people. Hmm. Echo, Echo Hotel or something. Yeah. They have, they have that vast Massive space. Yes, space. so. I got on stage, there were people facing me. On my left, there were people. On my right, there were people. I felt like an Israelite, like, you know, <laughs> in front of the red, deep blue ceiling or something. It was tough. And I was like, whoa, these people are... And they were ready. Wow. They were ready, especially when they heard, oh, this is a Ghanaian comedian. Uh, I like my intro. I like it. <laughs> yeah, he all the way from Ghana. Yeah, comedian by night, a doctor by day, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise. <laughs> oh, me. And I came with I Can't Kill Myself, that song. Uh, Tima, I love that song. <laughs> and then they vibe with me. Wow. The, video, the video is on my YouTube page, Obi wow. and Ponsa. They vibe with me. They really enjoyed me. And, I'm really grateful to Basket yeah. Man for that opportunity. It, it showed me that I needed to work more. Yeah. Yeah, I needed to work uh, not just inside Ghana. It Let's showed me that, on. yes, I need to, there's a world out there. In fact, anybody watching this, there's a world out there. Ghana is just like 30 million people. Yeah. There are a lot of people to entertain. So don't just limit your craft to the Ghanaian audience. I mean, let them enjoy you, but do not be limited into, in this country. Just spread your wings the, the the world is a big place yes so i really enjoyed that experience uh on the ninth of no not the ninth of the lord of the rips comedy yeah. festival 2019. It. what's 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 next for you 2020 <coughs> both as a doctor and a comedian yeah. <coughs> i i intend to reach out uh i want to do more of community outreaches okay yeah uh there are a lot of people who really need eye care yeah yeah and they are secluded. They are in places that uh, access to healthcare is quite difficult for them. So that is a project I'm, I'm, I'll start this year. Nice. Yes, so that... I'm sure we can all yeah, donate and help yeah, make it Yeah, so that the least we can do... To, because some of these eye diseases are treatable. Yeah. Somebody is walking around blind, but it's just a cataract. And I'm yeah. saying just a cataract because it can be worked on. Yeah. You know, once the contract is taken out, they see you as their Jesus. Yeah. You understand? They look at you like, oh, I, I couldn't see, but you have made me see. So they... Have you had that experience? Oh, yes, before? we do. We do get that a lot in the clinic. Like, I mean, I say that to say, hey, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's so humbling. It's, it's, I know. Some even want to, like, uh, make you their son-in-law, like, like mommy. <laughs> Sacrifice your doctor. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It's a doctor, no worry. It's a mother of you. <laughs> your girlfriend is watching. Yeah, so that is why I'm saying, mother of you, but more girl. <laughs> Let me finish the statement. <laughs> yeah, so I, <clears throat> I want to do that with optometry this mm -hmm. year to reach out to Ghana, the, wow. the, the communities that don't have that uh, much access, mm -hmm. access to um, healthcare. And then with comedy, I want to do more in Ghana. Hmm. I want to do more in Ghana, but I also want to uh, travel Africa. Okay. Africa has a lot, a lot to offer. I want to go to Kigali. I want Ooh. to go to Kigali is Kenya, right? Hey. Or Rwanda? Rwanda. Hey, Kwaku. Cool. <laughs> Kenya is Nairobi. Kenya is Nairobi. Yeah, I want to go to Nairobi. I want to so Kigali, Nairobi. Yeah, uh, Uganda. Addis. 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 What? Addis Ababa. Ethiopia. Yeah, Ethiopia, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. I want to go to South Africa. I want to know Africa. I like how you started with the cities and you're like, forget this. And forget it. And let's, let's, let's do it. the country, <laughs> said, come and tell myself. <laughs> yeah, let's just do the, let's just do the country. But well, you're speaking it into being. So yeah, insha, this time, December, insha Allah. We'll, we'll, we'll go we'll, through your yeah, checklist too. Yeah. So yeah. say them again. So Kenya, countries. Let's just Kenya. Place, let's place it. <laughs> Kenya, uh -huh. Rwanda, uh -huh. because they all have comedy festivals. Ah, okay. Yeah, Kenya, Kenya Rwanda, Rwanda, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. South Africa, okay, uh, Uganda. All right. Nigeria, I'm going there even this Sunday. 
Wow. Oh, yeah. We have started, though. We, wow. This year, we're not a play. I tell you. You're, you're, not, you're, not, you're not joking, crying. No, we are you're not joking, joking without jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so, if there are people watching, and you, you organize these festivals, OB is yes. ready. So, yes. and, get in touch. and your people, if they have any connections, you, me, I'm not about but the speak money. Speak to them over there. Talk to them. Hello, city. <laughs> <laughs> hey, viewers. <laughs> the whole world watching. City and viewers. <laughs> Let me start from charity oh. begins at home. You know. uh, anybody watching this? Uh, I'm, I'm open to any international gig outside the country, basically, if it's international, it's outside. So I'm open to any, any gig. Yeah, 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 yeah. Low me cry, I'll go. Sincerely, the point is that it's not about the money. Forget about the money. The money will come. Money no be proud. Yeah, but if you bring money, it's fine. But I'm just saying that if money is going to be the limiting factor, let it not be. You understand? Book me. I'm quite funny on any good Very day funny. yeah so just book me let's have a discussion my name is obi Ponsa. on all platforms you can you can reach out to me let's do this tours in africa let's put ghana somewhere like when we mention ghanaian comedians who have been outside you know ghanaian comedians putting ghana on the map i need uh, we need to have a lot of our people and i'm not just the only funny person there's Lexi, the comic in Ghana. He's one funny guy. There's Augustine Dennis. There's uh, Foster Romanus. There's PJ. There's Jerry. There's MJ. There's Waris. There's Jacinta. There's DKB. There's, oh, the a list is endless. Uh, yeah, now I you're, being, you're being camera be too much. Yeah. I yeah. gave you one minute and you're taking I know, five right? minutes. Okay. I talk too much. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I actually dropped one of my big words, right? <laughs> you didn't let the audience get the plethora. <laughs> uh, very good friend of mine, Victoria Dogbe, says she's been crushing on you forever. And she's so disappointed that you admitted you have a girlfriend because she thought you would, you would marry her. But it's okay. I'm sure there's someone for you out there, Vicky. It's fine. All right, Vicky. <laughs> All the best. <laughs> <laughs> Any advice for young people watching us? Yeah. You know, who may have picked science, didn't get science, ended up in arts. Because mm -hmm. as you were narrating your story, yeah. you started out even, you know, a bit insecure about science, yeah. felt this whole imposter syndrome. Yeah. But then you, you went on to excel. Yeah. Now you're a doctor. Yeah. You take up comedy and you're doing so yeah. well. What would you tell young people who are watching us? Yeah, I would say believe in you. That is, you are on your own. Sincerely, you may have family, you may have friends, you may have uh, colleagues, but in the end, when you retire to bed, it's you and your thoughts. Yeah. So do what makes you happy, as long as it's legal. And then pursue it. Pursue it with all your passion. Whatever you believe you can do, don't let anybody stop you. Because people have their own problems, but they decide to ignore their problems and dwell on you and rather draw you down. Don't let nobody draw you down. Believe in yourself, believe in your art, believe in your craft. Whatever your hand find it to do, do it with all your might and trust in God that you'll be successful. What's your definition of success? Success is when you're able to afford anything you want in life that like, makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Anything like, oh, I, I want pizza today and I can afford it. And in the end, um, I'm satiated. I think that is success, yes. So... Yeah. What drives you? What drives me? <laughs> now my legs. But <laughs> I hope to get a car. <laughs> but my passion, my passion... <laughs> my passion Your legs, yeah. seriously. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> no, but my passion, my passion drives me. When it's all said and done, 40, 50 years from now, what would you want people to remember you by? Oh, that guy who brought happiness into people's lives. That is all I want to do. Like, if I make money, God willing, that is what I'm going to use the money for. Maybe some people will not get the chance to hear my jokes, but I can reach out, especially to people who are not able to pay their hospital bills and are stuck, like uh, are held as hostages in the hospital because they can't pay, so now they can't leave. Yeah. I really want to embark on projects like oh, that. Oh, you should have joined us for oh, Papa you did Christmas that. Child. We oh, did that in Kolobu. That was, that was a big party for God them. bless you guys. 350,000 cities. Wow. Anyway, oh. where do we reach you if we want, if we want to book you? Yeah, so uh, mobile money is 024. <laughs> <laughs> that is the first important platform, <laughs> sincerely. Okay. So mobile money is 024180. <laughs> no, let me not put that number out. <laughs> but social media, I'm 
Obi and Ponsa on Facebook, Obi and Ponsa underscore on Twitter, Obi and YouTube. And YouTube, please Gotta like, watch, yes, share, watch my video, subscribe, share, let people know that there's a funny comedian and there are more other funny comedians in Ghana. We'll be on Ponsa everywhere. Now, quick one. Do you have a management team or you are your management team? Because when you brought out the, the, the notice, <laughs> it said <laughs> your management, <laughs> but then it was signed by you. So I'm like, is this that guy his own management team? That was what? me, man. I had to, I had to script something. <laughs> <laughs> Upon somebody reflect, I had to put something together. I tell but you. But do you have a management I team? I do have people I work with. Okay. Yes, I do have people I work with. But with this one... <laughs> <laughs> it was part of it. But getting... the English was very good. Yeah, it was yeah, really, yeah. really I, I wrote it. solid. Yeah. It was just the end that I was like, ah, ah did he write it himself? Or was it? <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for, for spending having your me. new year with us. This has this, this been very uh, insightful. And uh, I must commend it. This interview was good. This is my best interview for the year. And then the year just started. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> just take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. But you made it easy. Yeah. So you, thank you. Yeah. I wish you the best thank you so of much. luck. I wish you we'll the be best. with you on the 18th. We'll be laughing mm. our behinds off. Mm -hmm. And we'll be at every single event you do. Yeah. So this is home. You can always come back. Yeah, and thank you guys for having me on D2R and for having me here today. Too. And you'll be on D2R I will be. I will be. And I will, I will be normal. You'll behave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go anywhere, guys. We're going to enjoy some more music from K3M. But we'll take a few messages and then continue Breakfast Daily.